All right, day two with the transit. I apologize, haven't really had a chance to work on this that much. It's been super busy here. We got one guy out sick, one guy on vacation. So what does that mean? Seems I've been doing a lot of everybody's job. Um, anyway, yesterday we got as far as getting the one hinge on. I actually think this is a, a, a major step forward because what it means is that the hinges on the transit are uh, pretty much drillable on the vehicle. I mean, it takes probably, it would take probably about 15, 20 minutes to drill out uh, both hinges, all four holes. The issue I'm dealing with, and I don't know if you can see in there, the, the tolerance between the hinge and the top of the bolt is quite tight. So we're gonna have to get maybe some button head, uh, Allen screws, etc. cetera. Um, right now I got it to work by just grinding down the tops of some hex head bolts that we had here. The other issue that we're gonna have to deal with is the top hinge we got the top hinge installed the other issue we're gonna have to deal with is because these hinges are steel once you drill them out uh, the inside is gonna ha have to be coated it's, it's not rocket science but we've got to make sure it doesn't rust and so probably with the kit we're gonna include some sort of uh, touch-up paint or um, anyway some sort of like self etching primer that you're just gonna have to smear in those holes and make sure that we keep that metal nice and clean uh, no binding on the door which is good we got everything on you can see here I take a look here, you can see what I did as far as grinding the bolts. I've got to clear this here. Oops, sorry. About cut the tip of my finger off earlier today. Um, you've got this you got to clear, and then you've got this stopper you've got to clear. But overall, I'm quite happy with it. So, we've got the hinges installed. This is what we call the C-bracket hinges. Installed in the van. We've got two hinge blanks. These are just uh, one long, one short, because typically the hinges are offset a little bit. And I'm going to get these bolted up. So I'm going to try to pull level off of this line, or should I say vertical, and then we're going to try to put the top tube on and make sure that we get it as much as fairly easy. And once we get the top one welded on, we'll be able to kind of hold that in place and get a marking for the bottom hinge and make sure that we're level. Okay, I'm going to put this on the top hinge and then use a clamp on the bottom to try to get a mark for it. So what we're doing is I'm trying to create a little piece that's bent so that I can capture that seam. Uh, basically this seam, I've got the seam for the body line. So we're going right over that corner edge of where this mounts so it's as strong as possible. The contour of the door. Can you see that? Right. Slide it up. It's about perfect. I don't know if you can see that. It matches it pretty damn good. Anyway, so the idea is to have this piece where the pipe lands be pushing on the corner as opposed to just pushing on this flat part. You want to push, hear the difference? It's definitely stiffer. So we'll go for that. Now I'm going to take this over to the punch, punch a hole in it, and then we get that we will measure with some more steel. <laughs> Here is basically a prototype of the bracket that I think is going to go where uh, the pipe or the sway link meets the door. We've got basically an L bracket here that's welded to that bracket that I made that kind of fits the contour of the door. So the idea is that this is going to press right against the door. Maybe we'll line this with a little bit of foam or something. Uh, and then we're going to bolt through the door of the van and then this is where your sway link is going to bolt. So here's the part where I didn't want to use a customer's van because we 
we're going to drill right through here in the door. The goal is to get it right the first time, but with prototypes, you never know if after everything's all together, we're like, you know what, we can't mount there, we're going to mount somewhere else. I don't want to leave a bunch of holes in the customer's van. All right, so there's two, two layers of steel there. One of the reasons I picked that spot is where it came out. You see others up here. I don't know if you can see with my finger up there. That's why I came out. There's two layers of steel, which I like, and we're near the corner. gap there so I want to figure out what that gap is because I definitely want to put some sort of a blank in there some sort of washer or spacer or something let me figure that out a hole in the in the door all drilled I've got some spacers I want to put back there and then I also put some 3m uh, VHB adhesive and the goal here is that it's going to not only hold this in place while we put everything together but it's also it's a foam so it's going to add a little bit of cushioning we're not going to be metal on uh, metal with the paint and wear a hole through etc so there you go so I use the adhesive to mount the door, uh, I don't know what to call this, door bracket. And then I was able to use, I had a thick washer that I was able, thicker than this, that I was able to slide in between those two pieces of metal. Basically, everything still looks pretty straight, which is good, which means that it's kind of sandwiching evenly on that door. And then on the inside, Yep, that, that wash was sandwiched as well. I think we're good to move on. This is saying we want to come down a little bit. So we've got the cross member welded up, we've got the top tube welded up. Everything seems to kind of be coming together pretty well. Let me throw this nut on there. And we'll tighten it up. I like it. Look at that. That, my friends, is a beautiful sight because that is a lot further than we were yesterday. Two days in, we've already got something. So, I'm gonna put the hub right here. The tire's just gonna sit right there. Actually, let's find a very, very precise tire measurement tool. This is a critical piece of gear. Pretty damn perfect. I may say so myself. I'm liking that. What do you guys think? Come in. All right. I'm tired. It's hot. It's Friday afternoon, and I'm gonna go drink beer. But I'm very pleased with that. As far as day two, only a couple hours in, I've already got it. Pretty much more. We haven't even done that. Oh, well, we're hitting the awning. But let's see how this articulates here. Cool.